Welcome everyone to another Sergeant Sentinel Gaming video game review. And today I am talking about Jigsaw Puzzle Fever, but before I jump into that, I want to say thank you to everyone who is watching this. I do greatly appreciate it. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, definitely take the opportunity right now to do so. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload new content, whether it's new live streams or new game review videos. Developed by NYX Digital and published by Funbox Media, Jigsaw Puzzle Fever released May 3rd of 2023, just a few months ago, for Microsoft Windows, for PlayStation, and for Nintendo Switch. For this review, I did play the PlayStation 4 version of the game. I also received a free review copy of Jigsaw Puzzle Fever from the publisher through keymailer.co. Thank you so much for that. I do greatly appreciate it. With Jigsaw Puzzle Fever, there are four different difficulty levels with the easier ones giving you more help and of course the harder ones not holding your hand as much. So if you are a veteran um, Jigsaw Puzzle assembler, then the more difficulty levels won't be as hard for you as people who don't do this on the regular basis. The harder difficulty levels obviously require you to work your gray matter a little more, but like I said, for people who are accustomed to assembling jigsaw puzzles, that's not really going to be too much of an issue. Initially, they only let you choose from 10 different puzzles, but as you complete each of these, you unlock different puzzles, and there are 75 different puzzles available in this game for you to unlock completely so if you do like jigsaw puzzles there's going to be a lot of content here for you to enjoy now i am a fan of the casual feel of this game and the relaxing music that makes up the soundtrack it is a rewarding experience whenever this game works right now i say works right because there were a number of times when the controls would not necessarily respond how you'd expect them to respond. So the responsiveness is not there. Now I don't know if this is a system or console specific problem. You know, like I said, I did play it on PlayStation 4. Or if it's just because of the nature of the console port. Because like I did say before, this game is available on PC, Microsoft Windows, and I'm sure it works fine there, but sometimes whenever you port games like this over to the console, or you focus more on the PC port than the console version, the controls suffer, and this might have been one of those games that that, that, that has happened. Hopefully with time, the developers will iron out the issues, and they'll be able to figure out a way to make those controller issues non-existent or at least manageable. Aside from the glaring controller issues though this is a very enjoyable experience and it is for casual gamers and regular gamers alike but it is relaxing and it is something that if they get it ironed out I would definitely recommend anybody to pick up. So what are your thoughts on Jigsaw Puzzle Fever? I'd love to hear them in the comment section below. Do you own this title perhaps on the Nintendo Switch instead? Does it work better? Or are you having the same types of issues? Again, like I said, I'd love to hear any and all thoughts anyone has on this title. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. This is SSG, aka Sergeant Sentinel. Take it easy, gamers.